Suprema's access control software. It basically takes over your computer and turns it into a server. So what I would recommend is that the computer have a static IP address. You install Biostar through an Ethernet connection and make sure your Wi-Fi is turned off or else the software will take the information from the Wi-Fi adapter and not the Ethernet adapter. Once it's on the network and you have a static IP address, this is your basic layout. So as you can see, there's some access denied from tests that we ran earlier. But from here, you can run reports, muster reports of people on site, clock in, clock out systems, time in attendance, and you can also add uh, devices, users, and based on what kind of access controls, permissions that you can give your users can all be done on the fly. So once the computer has a static IP address, you can set a universal gateway that whatever computer is connected to the same site can contact the Biostar 2 web page. So a little bit about it as well. So to add your users, you go into users, add user, and fill in their credentials. So we'll just name this one test, department or email, test at test.com. Department, you can specify whatever. So I'm just gonna call this KD team. ID auto populate. Title and role and position. Telephone. And then what kind of group of users that you want to have. So as you can see, we've split the whole store, sales department and tech department. So we'll add this one to the tech department. You can specify your period as well. So at what date the current time on the computer runs to all the way to the end date. By default, this reads out as about 30 years. You can also add a photo. Now, permissions is another thing that I'll get to, but also the main point here is your credentials. So we can have in certain dummy devices connected to our core stations, we can input a pin that will allow key uh, keypad input. We can set a default devices in authentication mode, and then we can set which type of credentials to add for the specific user. So if we want to add a fingerprint, face, visual face, card, mobile, or QR barcode for the AirFob systems. So once we have our user set up, we'll just name this 12345. 1234, confirm hit. Adam. That user is now in their database. Now, problem is, it is not that simple when it comes to adding a user and then it would automatically gain access to all places and areas. You have to set up those places and areas first. You have to set up which devices those users are going to be able to use or permissions to use. So in a cascading effect, you should always start off with the user, then create your door, assign the door to the device, and then access control levels. So to add a device onto Suprema, the Biostar 2 software, we go to devices, and we have a list of devices already here. So in shop, we have Biostation 3, Core Station, and then two XPass D2 dummy devices connected to our main Core Station. It's annotized here by Master Unit and also Servo Unit. So we have our W3 out the front that I still haven't brought in. So if you hit search device, it should pick up Suprema's IDs. Click add. One item is developed, one device has been added and our buy station appears up. So here's where you can jump into the device and configure it to any kind of system um, or, or preferences that you want. They're on DHCP by default. You can change their date and time format, specific ports, servers that it's connected to in a cascade, serials, and then obviously authentication types and which levels that this specific device is supposed to do. You can also include CSN, Wigan cards, Suprema smart cards, also Desfire, MyFair. All depends on what kind of card Suprema has the versatility to adapt. So after we've added in our devices here and it's in our tree, we make sure that if we right click and sync device, 
that is already imported all of our users directly to the device that we have currently here. Now we just need to set the device to a specific door. So in this instance, I have already a group called test. The entry device is my BIOS station three. So I'm gonna set up another door for my W3. W3 device. You wanna make sure that the group is in all doors. Entry device is my bio station, or sorry, bio entry W3. Relay is relay one. Um, you can also connect a, an external third party exit button or door sensor to the device and the camera can pick it up. So in access control, what we want to assign is the newly created door that we assigned the bio entry W3 to an access level. So here's just a test level that I made. I only want to assign test and the W3 device and hit apply. So this is assigned the device to a specific access level and you pair it to which, um, which access level group to how many users that you want. So you can set these to whatever you desire in the likes of admin, maintenance, um, and include descriptions as well in case someone forgets. After hitting apply, now all the details here for myself are all on that device. In monitoring, we just have real-time logs, door statuses and wire, um, wireless door lock status. So this is just a basic overlay of who's clocked in, who's clocked out live on the event logs. Time attendance. Now, time attendance requires a separate system uh, or a separate license. As soon as it's registered and given you access, you can muster reports from specific days, times and months of who's clocked in, who's clocked out for time and attendance systems. The reports are done HTML based, so we can access user information and reports for all departments or single departments. This will generate reports to who has been active, who has come in and came in. And that's the BioStar 2 software.